the steps are listed here, along with their points in the timeline. Assuming you have completed software installation, the first step is to assign a password. The software opens on the System Summary page. You must license the software before proceeding with system configuration. The demo version label is removed once a suitable software license has been applied. The desktop administration reader comes with the necessary USB drivers and full installation instructions. This demonstration assumes that the USB drivers have been installed. In this tutorial, we will focus on IP controller connectivity. The methods for configuring direct USB or modem communication are very similar. controller has a unique serial number. The probe action is used to import the controllers into the administration software. You will now replace each serial number with a user-friendly name. Until this step is performed, the doors will not appear in the door screen.
For this demonstration, we will assume that we are configuring this four-door system. Controller 1 is the PAC 512 IP controller managing the two front doors. And controller 2 is a PAC 512 controller connected via RS485 data bus managing the two stores doors. This process is repeated for each area that is to be included in the access control system. Time and mode profiles are mainly required when you wish to restrict the hours during which key holders can gain access to their assigned areas, or program a door automatically to open during certain hours. Access group determines the areas to which key holders are granted access and, optionally, during which times. If no time profile is selected, key holders with this access group will be granted 24-hour access to their designated areas.
there are many useful features in the key holder configuration screen. This demonstration only includes the basic requirements to enable a key to function. For a new installation, following the system configuration, it is necessary to download the database to all of the PAC 512 door controllers.